What's up everyone, Patrick here and moving on to the next example. So you have $2,000 to invest. A portion of that 2,000 you're gonna invest at 5% and then the rest you're gonna invest at 8%. If you earn $115 in interest for the year, how much was invested at each rate? Now before getting into this, I just wanna quickly review some of the algebra that's gonna be used, the formats that are gonna be used with this kind of question. So let's say, let's take a different scenario and let's say that you invest $100 and you earn 5% interest on that. Okay, how much interest are you going to have how much interest are you gonna earn in the first year? Well, it's gonna be 5% of this 100, so it's gonna be $5. Now, how do we get to this $5 algebraically? Well, what we do is we take the 100, and then we multiply it by the decimal amount, right? So 5% as a decimal, we would divide that by 100, so we would end up with 0 0.05. So 100 times 0 0.05 is equal to $5. That's how we algebraically do it. We have to convert these percentages to decimals in order to create algebraic expressions. Because if we took 100 and multiplied by 5, we would end up with 500, which wouldn't make sense. right? So for example, if we take 200 and we're earning 8% interest on it, well, the interest that we're gonna get is 200 times 8% in decimals is 0 0.08. Okay, which would, when you multiply these out, you'd end up getting um, $16. All right, so that's how we algebraically deal with these interest percentages. So knowing that, Let's try to create some kind of equation where we could solve for this. So notice that we have $2,000, right, in total that we're going to invest. And what's happening is we're taking this total amount and then a portion of it, we're going to invest at 5%. And then the other portion, we're going to invest at 8%. And then we're told that the total interest that we get is going to be um, $115. So we have to solve for these amounts over here. And so what we can do is we could bring in a variable. So I'm gonna let X equal the amount invested at 5%. Okay, so from this 2000, we're going to invest X dollars at 5%. And so what does that mean? How much are we going to invest in the 8%? Well, we're going to invest the rest of the 2000. So if 2000 from that, if we invested X, what's left to invest in the 8% is 2000 minus X. Right, so for example, if from the 2,000 we invest 1,200 at 5%, well that, it means what's left to invest. Well, 2,000 minus the 1,200, which would be 800, right? The sum of these is the total amount that we're investing. And you could tell if you add these up, right? If we take X plus, 2,000 minus X, well notice the X's are just gonna cancel out and we're gonna end up with that 2,000 in total. So no matter what X value you plug in here, right, the total of these is gonna be 2,000. Well, X has to be between zero and 2,000, can't be greater than 2,000 because that's the total amount that we have to invest. But anything in between that, no matter what you plug in here, as long as you subtract that amount from 2,000, both of these amounts are always gonna add up to that total amount invested. Okay, so that's the total amounts. So these are the total amounts over here. But we're dealing with interest. So how can we take these values and create expressions for the interest that we're gonna earn? 
Well, remember, it's going to be the amount invested times the decimal value, the interest rate. So this over here, the interest for this investment is going to be the amount invested times 5%, but that's got to be in decimals like that. Okay, and then to make this look a little nicer, we could say 0.05x. So that's the amount of interest that's earned with this investment. What about this investment over here? What's the interest going to be? Well, it's going to be this total amount, which is 2,000 minus X. You got to put that in brackets. Be careful, right? We're taking that total amount right there, investing it at 8%. So we're going to multiply it by 0 0.08. Like that, right? Total times interest rate, total times interest rate. Okay, and this over here, I'm going to just leave like this for now. But we're told that the sum of these, the total interest that's earned is 115. And so notice that we could create an equation with these. So what we can say is we could say 0.05x plus this amount. Now this, actually this 0.08, I'm gonna bring in front. Right? It just looks a little nicer when it's in front of the bracket like that. You don't necessarily have to. But this and this, they're the exact same thing. The total of these is going to be 150, like that. And so from here, notice we have an equation with just one variable to solve, the x value, which is the amount that's invested at the 5%. So if we solve over here, we'll have 0.05x plus this, we got to distribute in the bracket. So 0 0.08 times 2000 would give us 160. Then 0 0.08 times negative x would give us negative 0 0.08x. And that's going to be still 150 like that. Then from here, we want to bring all of the expressions with a variable to one side and then all of the numbers to the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the 160 over. So we'd end up with 0.05x minus 0.08x equals 115 minus 160, like that. You can also bring the 115 over to this side and then bring both of these over and then change those signs. But because these were already on this side, I kept them here, the 160. I brought over. And so 0.05x minus 0.08x, those are like terms. So this would end up equaling negative 0.03x. 115 minus 160 would give us what? Negative 45? Like that. And then from here, to get the x by itself, we divide both sides by negative 0.03, by what's in front of the x. And when you do that right here, we would end up with 1,500 like. Okay, and notice that it's a positive number because a negative divided by a negative gives us a positive, and then these over here canceled out. If you brought all the x's to this side, you'd end up with 0.03x is equal to 45, and then you would just divide both sides by 0 0.03, you would still end up with positive 1,500. So that's the x value. Remember, what did we let the x value be? Well, the amount invested at 5%. And so since we have that, the total was 2,000, how much did we invest at 8%? Well, we invested 500 at 8%. And those are the solutions. So you invest $1,500 at 5%, $500 at 8%. If you want to check your answer, well, notice we can find out the interest um, earned here, 1,500 times 0 0.05 would give us $75, and then 500 at 8% would give us $40. And what happens when we add them up? Notice we get that total of 115. All right, so 
given a question like this, this is how you can do it. There's also another way where you could make it in terms of two variables, and we'll do that when we're dealing with linear systems in a future unit. But if you want to make this all in terms of one variable, this is the process.